Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Coach's Corner. Joining us now is head women's basketball coach, Nate Kilbert. Coach, thank you for joining us. Anytime. Oh, we appreciate it. Coach, two rough losses over the weekend. Southern, all going. Talk a little bit about those two games. Well, I think the biggest thing is we've been getting off to slow starts. Uh, the Southern game, we got off to a uh, slow start against them. And when you, when you build a hole for yourself like that, it's hard to, it's hard to get out of those holes. And I, I thought we, our defense was pretty good, uh, the whole ball game. We're just not scoring bastards right now. You, you know, even our best players, uh, Nia Head and Destiny Bruton, are struggling to get points for us. And when they're struggling to get points for us, you're going to see our team probably struggle a little bit. Because right now, uh, they are the people we kind of build our offense around. They're the people we're depending on to make plays for other people. And uh, they just start slow, and uh, we're not finishing. We, we have in spurts where we play real good, and we score the ball well, and we have in spurts where we have too many down spurts where we're not even scoring the ball at all. Uh, but our defense is, is, in the games we stay close, is the reason why we stay close, because we play pretty good defense. Uh, we can never get our offensive game together. Uh, We'll be all right, and I think that was the biggest problem this weekend. We just not putting the ball in the basket against Southern nor Alcorn. Well, and Skylar O'Bear for Southern, she was five or seven for the contest. She had five threes in the first half, but you were able to shut her down in the second half. Talk about it that. Well, I think that uh, other kids make the game easier for her on their team because you, you're so worried about them, like Pernell. You're so worried about her. You're so worried about Green that. She gets a lot of open shots and because she was in our scouting report, but she wasn't someone that we really talked about a lot. We didn't want her to get up those open threes like she was getting where she could set it and shoot it. We didn't want her to get that, but we didn't really talk about her a lot when it came, when it came to our defensive scheme. We wanted to make sure we, we kept Pernell away from the basket. We made sure we uh, didn't let Green grab to the basket. And we, we wanted other people to shoot the basketball, and, and she just happened to make a lot of shots that really gave them a, a good boost. And uh, I thought it was the difference in the game, to be honest with you, because she's the one person that we really didn't set our defense for. We got to do a better job next time we're playing uh, for us respecting her. Okay. Well, here's a rundown from Saturday's contest. Leading scorer for us was Faith O'Hunter with nine points, uh, Sean Taylor Harris with eight, uh, Noel Taylor with seven. Talk about the play of your young kids right now, your upper underclassmen. Well, I think that is the plus for us. Our, our, our younger kids have been playing real well. Uh, Noel Taylor has been playing playing extremely well for us because she's so fast. She, she creates a lot of things for off the of defense. Uh, she gets a lot of layups. Uh, uh, she's just a defensive whiz out there, and I think that's one reason why we're able to kind of stay close with Naya and, uh, and Destiny playing so bad. Faith has been strong for us on the boards. Uh, uh, she's one person that, who's been consistent with rebounding wise. She's been one person who's been consistently strong when it comes to uh, our strength inside, when it comes to people talking about how tough we are. She's that toughness for us inside. Really, she's been the only person in my eyes that's been real tough down off in there. We can go to her and she can take fouls and make the basket. Uh, Naya hasn't been doing that well for us. Uh, Sean Taylor's been scoring in there, but she hasn't been consistent like our young people have. So if, if they continue to play well for us and Naya and, uh, and uh, Destiny ever come around, um, you're going to see our ball clubs kind of turn that corner and start to play a lot better basketball. Okay. Hey, as we said, we talk about faith. Talk about, about Kai Richardson and Malik Muhammad and uh, Noel Taylor a little bit. Well, you're talking, you're talking about Kai, who's a sophomore for us, and she really played. Uh, she really, I think she really started to play well after the A&M game when she made some shots here at home and kind of got her confidence up a little bit. Didn't play as well against Alcorn, uh, but played, played, played. I thought she played fairly well against Southern. Uh, but she's someone we're depending on to give Bruton some time away from the point so she can be more of a scorer at the two-guard position. So I'm really happy with the way she's playing right now. I just hope she continues to play well for us. You know, Noel is a freshman for us. Uh, she's just, everything that we saw, in high school about her it's, it's true I mean she's just lightning fast she's somebody that uh, we put on the, the other team best player especially if they play the guard position uh, so we'll we'll continue to hope that she's going to grow for us her uh, scoring is concerned she's not a great outside shooter but she why shoot the ball from outside when you get to the basket like she does a lot uh, so she's she's someone that we're depending on to keep to keep other people uh, best player down and uh, Malik and just she's she's not shooting the ball like she's capable of. You guys seen her make shots in spurts, but she can really shoot the three. Uh, she hasn't shot the three up to her capability yet. We're looking forward to her to really get on. 
because uh, she's getting a lot of good shots. If she makes some of those shots, I, you know, our team would be a lot better. And that's what I tell our kids, you know, we're depending on Malik to make those shots to open the things up for for Faith, for uh, Naya Head, and for Shantay with Harris inside. And I think, because uh, she's a, a good workaholic, she be in the gym all the time working on her shot. She's just not hitting it consistently like we need her to for our team to be successful. But she, she's going to get better. I'm not really worried about her because she got great work ethics. Okay. And would you say, Coach, with this group in the game, that's when you had those spurts? Because we made a – went on a 6-0 run in the game at Southern. And from – it was this group out there on the floor. Well, you, you know – our young group has been the, been the group that's been out there when we've been hitting those spurts in just about every game we play uh, because Naya and Destin hasn't been playing well. And when I say hasn't been playing well, I mean they haven't been shooting the ball well. And that, a, lot of that, a lot of that plays into how well they play. You know, when they're shooting the ball, our team look a lot better. But those, other, those young kids get, get layups. They get steals. You know, they, they, we press a lot more when they're in the game. So we look a lot better because we plan a lot faster. We don't do as much pressing with, with, with Naya and them because they're not as fast. But we, 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 we run more zone. So look for the young group to, to give you spurts like that because of the style of play we're playing when they're in the game. Okay, and on Monday, this past Monday, we took on Alcorn, where we dropped a 70-48 decision. Leading scorer in that game for us was Nia Head with 13, followed by Faith O'Hunter with eight once again. Uh, talk about that game a little bit, Coach. Well, I think if you ask Nia about that game, she'd probably tell you that's one of the worst games she played. Anytime she'd go five for 17, and she had a lot of real good looks, uh, I think she'd tell you she can play a lot better than what she did. Uh, I thought Faith was, was pretty consistent inside uh, for us in that game. But you know, the whole game, we got, we got down from the beginning. I mean, that's, that's been our motto so far is, you know, start slow. We got to change that. We got to start getting a better start than what we've been getting. We got down to all I think it was 24 to 9 at one point. I think the score might have been 11 0 at one point. But we can't start like that and have a chance to win, especially on the road. You might can get away with that a little bit more at home. But I, I didn't think Alcorn played up to their potential. You know, and I say that and they still beat us 20 some points, but I don't think they played nowhere close to where they're capable of playing because actually I, I watched film on them. I thought they were a better team. And they made a lot of mistakes. We just played horrible. You know, on the defensive side of the ball and the offensive side of the ball. If we had played anywhere up to our capability on that particular night, that we would have beat them real bad because they didn't play well to me. Uh, they didn't do a lot of executing their plays. They turned the ball over a lot. Uh, we just didn't play well. So if we had played a little bit better than what we what we did, I think we could have won the ball game. But it started with not making a little short jump shot. Start with missing free throw. And that's our team pull away from us in, in the beginning because we get to what we want to get offensively. We're just not making shots right now. And, it, and like I said, it start with destiny and start with head because they're the ones that's taking the most of the shots in the beginning. And they're just not making them now. And last year they was making these shots and you would see us just take off. And they're, they're going to get to the point where they're going to start to make them. I'm, I'm almost confident in, in their ability to, to, to get out of the slump that they're in. So once they get out of the slump, you'll see us start to play a lot better. Okay, Coach, this weekend we have the Texas schools coming in. Texas Southern on Saturday night, Prairie View on Monday night. Uh, what have you seen on Texas Southern on film? Other than, other than them being good. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're extremely good. They're, they're good on both sides of the ball. They're a good defensive team. They're a good offensive team. Uh, their, their size inside is real good. They can go small. They can go big. It, it's a tough matchup for us. But at the same time, I, I'm, I'm enjoying the, the challenge of, of, of dealing with them this weekend because I know our team hasn't played near about up to their potential. And if, they're, if, they've, been watch, if they've been watching film on us, they haven't seen the real uh, UAPB uh, women's basketball team yet. So I know they didn't get a lot from watching film on us. So I think we have the advantage simply because we're at home and we haven't played well. I think that gives us an advantage. We, we can execute our plays better. We can finish shots better. And we haven't done any of that. So I think we have an advantage. We just have to come out and play. Okay. So go and talk a little bit more in depth, Coach, on how we match up with them. Uh, well, I think both teams have matchup problems. I think their size is going uh, to hurt us. And I think our, 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 our small size is going to hurt them when, it, when they get on the defensive side of the ball because we have the opportunity to put the ball on the floor and go around them a little bit more. What we want to make them do is try to match up to our, our size, put their 5'9 and 5'10 kids in at the post and take their 6'2s and 6'3s out. 
you know, but I'm sure they're gonna try to do just the opposite with us. They're gonna try to force us to go big. And you know, when we go big, we got we keep Sean Taylor in the game, and you'll see head at the post. And we like to we like to run head around the perimeter a lot. So when we have to put her in at the post, that means somebody is wearing her down, and we don't want to do that. So I think the matchup is pretty much even when it comes to both teams that are disadvantage on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, but it's gonna be how well you take care of the ball. If our pressure can hurt them, uh, we can we have a chance to win the game. If we allow their pressure to hurt us, they're gonna have a chance to win the game. And I think both teams have pretty good point guard. Their point guard is real good, she's real fast. Uh, but once you get the ball out of her hands, you have an opportunity to, to create problems for them. Okay. Now coach, you know, how important is a six man for every team? Six man, a golden line nation, one of the best fans in the conference. How important is for the Golden Lion Golden Lion Nation show up Saturday night? Oh, we need to pack the house. It's very important for us. It's very important for us because, uh, you know, I, I think it's just, it get kids going. When they see people in the stand uh, pushing them and cheering for them, it gets them excited about what they're doing, more excited about what they're doing because they're already excited about the game itself. But we need all our fans there. That our fan support has been great. We want it to continue to be great. And uh, if we can pack the house this weekend because these, these, these two teams are two of the top teams in the conference. Well, you know, Perry is not record-wise now, but I think they are one of the better teams in the conference. They've just been on the road and they lost a couple games. But I think they're, they're right there in the top five. And you know Texas Southern is number one. So right. it's going to be very interesting. If we can knock off the number one seed, we can show people we're just as good as anybody in this conference. And I truly feel that way. We just haven't played up to our potential. Because uh, this Saturday is Greek night, gold rush night. So come dress and press in your favorite gold attire. So you got a gold outfit you're going to wear Saturday <laughs> night, Coach? <laughs> no, I, I, think I'm gonna, I think I might wear a gold tie. I think I'm going to go with it. But uh I'm, I'm looking forward to Saturday night. I think it should be it's, it should be a great night for for our fans and for our student athletes. Talk about how we match up with Prairie View on Monday night, Coach. You know, I don't really like to 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 watch film of a of, of the team that I play second until Sunday, but I I did take a. a uh, sneak peek at them <laughs> because I know we're going to have to get ready for them on Sunday and we're going to not have enough, a lot of time to prepare for them. But they're solid at the guard position. I mean, they're solid at the guard position. You can see that they are well coached. They run some good stuff offensively. Um, they are real aggressive. And I think the biggest thing, you have to slow their, their, their old heads down. You know, they got a lot of kids returning at the guard position. So if you can slow them down, you got a chance to, to, to beat them and force other people to score for them. Uh, you got an opportunity to beat them, but they real aggressive defensively. Uh, they run some good stuff offensively. We just got to find a way to kind of slow them up. They want to play fast, but we want to play fast too. So wh whatever team is making them making more shots and, and, and taking better care of the ball is going to win the game is Prairie View. The good thing about Prairie View, they are kind of similar to Texas Southern so, for as the way they do things. You know, so we, we kind of prepare for Texas Southern at the same time we can prepare for Prairie View. That's a good thing because they are similar in the way they do things. You know, you can look at the, when they played each other. That's why the score was so close, because they, they are similar in what they're trying to do. Get the ball inside to that post. They like to play inside out, and both teams like to do that. Okay, Coach, what are the keys of victory this weekend? Well, for us, it's shot making. Shot making. We got to make shots. We got to make shots. If we can make shots, because we're going to get them. Our offense is that good. We're going to get good shots, and, and we're going to get a lot of open shots. We just have to make them, and we don't turn the ball over. We, we don't turn the ball over, make our shots, and, uh, and, and rebound the ball, we stand a very good chance of winning. Very good chance. Okay, Coach, well, let's take a look at the conference standings here. We've got Sex and Southern at 5-0 and in first place. Behind them is Southern at 5-1 and in second place. Alabama State 4-1 and for third place. In fourth place is Alcorn 4-2. and Fifth place is Grambling at 3-3. Three and -three. Tied in sixth place is Prairie View A&M and Mississippi Valley at 2-3. and -three. We're in seventh place at 1-4. Jackson State is 1-5, and, and Alabama A&M is 0-5. Uh, talk about the tournament. You know, top four seeds get to host, and you move on. You win your first-round game, then you go on to Houston and play the semifinals and the championship game. You like that setup, Coach? Well, it's not the first time. You know, I've been in this conference, uh, I don't want to say how long, but a long <laughs> time. And we've, we've, we've done this before. We've done yeah. this before. I was at Alcorn State, and we was an eight seed, and we ended up having to travel to Alabama State to play them. We got away from it for some reason, uh, but you know, 
I don't dislike it or like it yet. I, I want to get a better feel of it. Maybe we would only done it for one year. Hopefully we'll do it for two years to kind of see how, how it works. But I know back then it was tough. It was hard to get, it was hard to get hotels because you didn't know what hotel you was going to be staying in until like two days before it was time for you to go. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see how it works. But, you know, I, I look at the seeding now. You say we're in seventh. We probably won game. We win one game, we'll be in, we could go to fifth. You know, a tie for right. six, you know. So the, the standard is real good right now. I mean, if you look at all the women's basketball team, the, I mean, I think all of us is close to each other. I mean, the top can beat the bottom if they play. Right. Ain't no dominant team, even though Texas Southern is 5-0. and uh, But just look at all the close games they play. They had a lot of games there. They beat Southern barely at Southern, you know. Alcorn, they beat them maybe five points. So the, the conference is, is it's a lot of parity there when it comes to the team. So And a whole lot of conference basketball left. Oh, a whole lot of it left. Oh, I'm, I'm excited about getting to it. I am. I'm excited about, about, about this weekend. I'm excited about the Grambling and Jackson trip. I just got to get our kids and keep them confident in what they're doing because I think they're playing hard. They're just, just not making shots. You know, get them past that. Okay. Well, Coach, we thank you for joining us. Anytime. All right. And that's Lady Lions basketball this Saturday, 5.30 against Texas Southern. Excuse me, 5 p.m. against Texas Southern and 5.30 on Monday night against Prairie View A&M. Good luck this weekend, Coach. Appreciate it.